Here we go again with the view always running their mouth. We already know that the view always just let basically anybody come on a show. Let's just say anybody that don't like Donald Trump. Anybody that don't like Donald Trump is always welcome on the view because they just let people come on there and just spew anything, tell all these lies, and just defame Donald Trump day in and day out, just like Joe Behar, just like Whoopi. Uh, all of them on here, Sonny Hose, all of them. They always talking crap about Donald Trump. And now coming to find out, uh, Doug Sean is saying that they didn't let Chuck Schumer come on there. We already know he finna spill a whole bunch of BS. We already know that. Now this one's coming by Doug. I will leave the original video in the description. Make sure y'all go to the description, click on that link. Make sure y'all let Doug know that I sent you, all right? He said that Joy Behar gaslights audience. The view only coppers uh, copies Schumer party. And then he went on to say that um, the view only repeats what Chuck Schumer is just basically saying, which we already know is going to be a bunch of crap. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and dive straight into this. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Uh, like I said, uh, shout out to everybody showing some more support. Everybody been leaving positive comments. In the comment section, I also want to thank everybody who clicked on the video for the very first time. I appreciate all of you. Without further ado, y'all, let's go ahead and dive straight into this. And here they go from the make up a bunch of lies and say a bunch of dumb stuff about Donald Trump. We already know. Let's go. This is about the view gaslighting. This is 100% gaslighting video. Since we're on a good mood today, I noticed that. Since the future of our country is at stake in this presidential election, there was a lot of pressure for President Biden to deliver on his State of the Union last night. Some of you go like, ah, I hate the view. Why do you show it? It is important to show gaslighting to you so you can see what media is doing. Here's the simple truth. You can't love your country only when you win. I thought he was fabulous. It's being done oh my at God. your public schools to your children. It's done by Hollywood softly through culture and entertainment. <laughs> Objectively good night for Joe Biden. It's done online by big media. And it's even done by your friends who pressure, pressure you using little words about things that attack your values. It's, I mean, I felt like I was at my black church. If it had not been for the Lord, uh, George's uh, Fulton County District Attorney, uh, Fannie Willis. I saw a group of white attorneys trying to publicly lynch District Attorney Fannie Willis. The history books, her name happens to be Fannie Willis. I felt like I was at my black church. Here Fannie comes in. Isn't that what they're trying to do to Fannie Willis? Like Fannie Willis is. About Fannie Willis. And attack Fannie Willis. Fannie Willis. Fannie Willis. Fannie Willis. Sister Fannie Willis. District Attorney Miss Fannie Willis and Miss Letitia James. There was call and response, and yeah. we love that. I mean, he had audience participation with the State <laughs> of the Union. What? Welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tenapel. This is where the happy patriots are. And this is an education in gaslighting, uh, which whoa, is a whoa, fancy whoa. way of saying brainwashing. This is a Democrat introducing a Democrat on a Democrat show for a Democrat audience. Now, you said that you and other fellow Democrats walked out of the room last night exhilarated and the Republicans yes. were sad and sullen and upset. Tell us about that. <laughs> Her smile is part of the brainwashing is it's a pretend happiness, but really she's covering covering for an absolute terror that Trump is going to win. She has to pro project a false confidence right. that Biden did great at the State of the Union address, which he didn't. He was embarrassing and terrifying. Now, here comes the spin of Chuck Schumer. Yes, well, look, anyone who watched that speech saw that America is strong and Biden is strong. Mm -hmm. Do you, man, you believe to that? Stop that, man? Anyone who watched that speech, he's talking to all of you. Don't you understand? Anyone who watched that speech knows that it, America is strong and Biden is strong. They're actually telling you exactly what they fear. They, they, the real truth is they know America is weak and America perceives Biden is weak. Mm -hmm. And no, if you watch that speech, You'd have no doubts, Joy, no doubts that Biden is going to win this election and then have a great second term right. where he helps the middle class. This should make all of us clap just oh, by them saying God. this. Remember, if Biden really was going to win, he wouldn't even need to say this. They're saying it as part of the propaganda to push, hope, pray. And the audience, by the way, is cued to clap on right. all these TV shows. 
They have a giant applause sign. Yep. Sure do. And he, could, he talked about everything the middle class needed, whether it's education or housing or lower prices. Why didn't Chuck Schumer say what the middle class need is the ability for a girl to jog in Georgia without being murdered by an illegal? What, what, he does not mention the open borders, which no. is the number one issue in America right, right now even polling well among Democrats. He also talked about how bad uh, the former president, as he called him, was. Yeah. The former president, he called him. Chuck Schumer is now becoming an election denier. I mean, as if Trump wasn't the former president, but the Biden just merely called him that. Biden also called that murderer an illegal. And showed how this guy would let Putin roll over him, et cetera. Chuck Schumer is going back to the whole Russia, Russia, Russia lie, the idea that Trump is somehow in bed with Putin, even though it was Biden's weakness that invited Putin's massive invasion of Ukraine. Right. And really Putin's overwhelming victories in Ukraine now is because of Biden. It was also Obama on a hot mic who talked to that one Russian guy going like, hey, if you'll go easy on us. My last election, basically. Yeah. After my election, I have more flexibility. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. I transmit this information to Vladimir and understand what It's the Democrats who have colluded with Russia and shown weakness to Russia, not yep. Trump. But my favorite moment, and this is about the Republicans, he said this, the former president has created the lie that, um, uh, uh, January 6th was not an insurrection. You know it was an insurrection. And he said, and he pointed to the Republican senators sitting there in the Republican House members and said, and you know it's a lie, even though a lot of you follow it. Proof to you that it's <laughs> Chuck Schumer who's lying, Man. not the Republican. Chuck Schumer is just full of crap. See, that's the thing. He won't talk about them borders. He won't talk about why uh, why Biden should close them borders. He don't want to talk about that. I mean, come on. That speech was a disgrace. He's supposed to be talking about trying to, what he can do to help fix this country, but yet he just wanted to take shots at Donald Trump all night. That's what he did. And he was getting booed. You seen people in there booing him. But see, Chuck Schumer is trying to make up like Biden did really good. Oh, he did this. He did this. Look at Joe Behar. They know Joe Biden is not going to get reelected. They know this. They sit up here trying to put on this facade for no reason. Disrespecting Donald Trump just like they always do. They started trying to bring up the, the January 6th situation. Bringing up the Putin situation. Joe Biden is a disgrace. All he was doing the whole night for a whole hour was just coughing. They don't want to talk about that, doing all that coughing, because he was lying. And they kept taking the camera off of him. Like, like this is, and like Doug is right, they, you know, like when you go to a lot of these places, when you're in the audience, they do be putting up them little old signs, like telling everybody when they clap to make it seem like that Chuck Schumer is saying something good. But he won't talk about all this other stuff about Joe Biden, but he want to try to point out some good stuff, which it was no good stuff at all. Why he ain't talk about how she uh, he got the young lady name wrong? He probably ain't going to bring that up. Like, these people are something else. They would just get on here and just say anything. Anything. I'm talking about Joe Biden is going to get reelected. What kind of crap is that? Look at look at our country. Look at inflation. You, I mean, come on. You can't even buy a house right now. <laughs> Boy, I, I mean, they just say anything on The View. Republicans on Trump, uh, whether he's a, a, a insurrectionist or not. It's pretty simple. It's illegal to be an insurrectionist. They could have charged him in court with insurrection. They did not because they knew they'd lose. I love that he brought up January 6th because they were at the Capitol. They were at the scene of the crime. And mm. if I were running for president, I would be mentioning that scene of the crime every single day. They haven't brought it up to the Supreme Court. They've tried. They keep trying. They're doing everything but charge him. And that's why Trump is able to run, by the way, is because none of these people actually believe he's an insurrectionist. 
and, and you're right because they just saying that because they just they want Donald Trump. See, here's the thing: they know Donald Trump is going to win. They want this stuff to come up to try to get him kicked out so he can't run for president. They want him in jail. That's why they trying to they trying to do anything they can. They know it's getting closer and closer to re-election, so now they just just throwing everything at the wall right now, hoping it'll stick. It's not going to work. That's all they keep doing is just trying to attack Donald Trump to stop the man from winning. They can't beat him fair and square. Like, come on, man. What is we talking about? And look at all the fake lawsuits against Trump. You yep. don't think they could find a corrupt judge that would declare him an insurrectionist? They're still, they have not done that. Remember, they impeached him. They could not remove him. They could never charge him with insurrection. And right. The reason why they won't it's because they know they'll lose. And yep. they were like children being chastised by the teacher <laughs> in their classroom. Yep. They looked down. They didn't say anything. No, the only time the Republicans were looking down was when Joe Biden was saying some dumb stuff. Like you seen when Baron Donald's kind of like, because he was saying a lot of stupid stuff. Look at the way Mike Johnson was looking the whole entire time that Joe Biden was talking. That's why Republicans put their head down because they were like, I can't believe this man is up here saying it. But Chuck Schumer trying to make it seem like that Joe Biden was saying something good was the reason why the Republican were putting their head down. Just lying. This is what they do. They just let people come on this show and lie. Like, look at Sonny Holston. She ain't even smiling. Everybody else is smiling but Sonny Holston. She know for a fact that Donald Trump is going to win. Like, come on now. <laughs> they couldn't look up. Yeah. It was a great moment. Look at look at these fake smiles and fake laughter. This is all brainwashing. There's one person, one sourpuss on here is not smiling. She does not think it's funny. She's very serious, and that is Sonny Hostin. She's worried, and she's not playing this brainwashing. <laughs> Biden's so strong. Mm -hmm. She knows what's coming. Yeah. So yeah. Joe Biden showed who he is. Right. You know. I've known him for a long time, obviously. I've been in the Senate and the House. And this is the Joe Biden. And his passion was real. He's yeah. from the middle class. He cares about the middle class. Oh, his family God. struggled in the middle class. This is his BS biography. All of it invented, none of it true. Joe Biden is not of the middle class. He is a privileged, blowhard, um, known for being mean, big mouth particularly dumb, even by Democrats. So he really, this is the real deal and people saw it. If it was real, you don't have to tell people what's real. You know what I mean? And if they saw it, you don't have to tell them. Yeah, I never have to tell them, this is the real deal and the people saw it. Right. Uh, the truth can go unspoken and it's still true. You actually have to articulate lies of this kind to brainwash the people. And I'm here to set you guys free. Joy Behar is just done. This is, she's completely washed up and part of the lie machine. She's part of the lie in this one party collusion with ABC, big tech, only one narrative allowed. I'm Doug. Man, man, man. Joy, Joy Behar and Sonny Holson, they are all out. They are all finished. They know for a fact that Donald Trump is going to win and that Joe Biden has no chance. I don't know why they're trying to stop him and try to pump him up, make it seem like he just did something great. And all he did was get on there and spew lies like he always do. And Chuck Schumer knows it. But he get on this show, obviously, you always go to the view because they just let you get up there and spew lies. As long as you against Donald Trump, you can get up there and say anything you want. You even can let Joy Behar threaten Trump's lifetime. She hope he choke on a cheeseburger. She even said that, got away with it, nothing happened to her. So you can literally go to this show and say anything you want about Donald Trump and nothing will happen. You can spew all the lies and everything. This show is a complete lie. I can't see how they even still on air. It's just a complete lie. They just let anybody come on in and say anything. But like I said, y'all let me know uh, what y'all think about it in the comment section. Like I said before, I will leave the original video in the description. Make sure y'all go over to Doug's channel. Let them know that I sent you. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.